Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to understand memory loss and its causes, learn to recognize delirium by its symptoms, evaluate the different treatment methods and also understand the various outcomes of the disorder. Brain is an astonishing organ. It is involved in every aspect of our lives from eating and drinking to falling in love. Because it is important, the brain is protected in an enclosed space and covered by a thick outer membrane called dura meter. For more protection, it is encased by a skull. The skull is so strong that if it is placed on the ground and way it is applied very slowly, it can be supported as much as 3 tons. These anatomical facts indicate how precious the brain is. Brain Impairment in the Elderly Prior to the revision of DSM-IV in 1994, most of the disorders to be considered in the section of brain impairment in the late life were termed as organic mental disorders. The term was designed to define that there was some kind of identifiable pathology that was causing the problem. Because of this, such disorders were treated by neurologists. Functional mental disorders were basically considered not to have an organic basis. The term functional and organic were later dropped. The organic mental disorder section was renamed and today it is named as delirium, dementia and other cognitive disorder. Memory deterioration or memory loss. Everyone misplace things, get blanks on an acquaintance name or even forget phone numbers. We start to talk about a movie which we have recently seen and suddenly realize that we can't remember the title. We see an old school friend in a party and go towards him to greet him and become embarrassed because we have forgotten his name. Being unable to remember thing in a common phenomena but we do not consider it as a problem and give time to ourselves for recalling. Generally, forgetting is a common complaint among older adults. Memory lapse may be frustrating, but mostly they are not a matter of concern. We need to recognize that memory loss is not an inevitable part of or result of the aging process. The brain is capable of rewriting itself at an any age. It is therefore imperative to distinguish between what is normal and what should be a matter of concern regarding memory loss. Moreover, many mental illness remain unaffected by normal aging. This includes the ability to do things the person has always done and continue to do often. The wisdom and knowledge acquired from life experiences, individuals innate common sense, individuals ability to form reasonable arguments and judgments. However, the situation is not the same always. As people grow older, they go through physiological changes that can lead to glitches in the brain functions. It takes longer to recall and learn the information. The primary difference between age-related memory loss and the problems related to cognitive deterioration like dementia is that the former is not disabling. Common memory lapse have little impact on the elderly person's daily performance and ability to do various activities. When memory loss becomes so pervasive and severe that it disturb, disturbs work, hobbies, social activities and family relationships, it may become important to seek professional help. It's time to consult a doctor when a memory lapse becomes frequent enough or sufficiently noticeable to concern the individual or the family members. The elderly person may be experiencing the warning signs of Alzheimer's disease or another disorder that causes dementia or a condition that mimics dementia. Causes of age-related memory loss The region of the brain involved in formation and retrieval of memories often deteriorate with age. There are certain growth factors that are also a major cause, hormones and proteins that protect and repair brain cells and stimulate neural growth generally decline with age. 
lack of efficiency in older people and at absorbing brain enhancing nutrients, impairment in memory and changes in cognitive skill due to the experience of decreased flow of blood to the brain in the older people. Reversible causes of memory loss. It is important to be aware that sometimes even what looks like significant memory loss can be caused by treatable condition and reversible external factors. Side effect of medications. Many prescribed and over-the-counter medicines or a combination of three or four medicines can cause cognitive problems and memory loss as a side effect. This is especially common in older adults because not only are they frequently taking different medicines to combat the physical problem due to aging, they also break down and absorb medications more slowly. Common medications that affect memory and brain functions include sleeping pills, antihistamines, blood pressures, arthritis medicines, muscles relaxants and drugs for urinary incontinence. Antidepressants and anti-anxiety medicines also have the same effect. Depression Depression can mimic the signs of memory loss, making it difficult to concentrate, stay organized and memory, remember things. Depression is a common problem in older adults, especially for those who are not very social, active or those who have recently experienced important losses or major life changes like retirement or loss of a loved one. Vitamin B12 Deficiency Vitamin B12 protects neuron and is vital to healthy brain functioning. In fact, a lack of B12 can cause permanent damage to the brain. Older people have a slower nutritional absorption rate which can make it difficult for them to get the needed B12 requirements. Thyroid Problems The thyroid gland controls metabolism. If the metabolism is too fast, the individual may feel confused and if it is too slow, the person can feel sluggish and depressed. Thyroid problem can cause memory problems such as forgetfulness and difficulty concentrating. Medication however can reverse the symptoms. Alcohol abuse. Excessive alcohol intake is toxic to brain cells and alcohol abuses leads to memory loss. Over time, alcohol abuse may also increase the risk of dementia, especially in older person. Dehydration. Older adults are particularly susceptible to dehydration. Severe dehydration can cause confusion, drowsiness, memory loss and other symptoms that look like dementia. It's important to stay hydrated. This becomes even more important if the aged person is taking diuretics or laxatives or suffers from diabetic, high blood pressure or diarrhea. Delirium Delirium is regarded as a serious disturbance in the mental abilities of a person that leads to decrease in awareness of the environment and confused thinking. Delirium is defined as a transit, usually reversible, causes of cerebral dysfunctions and manifests clinically with a wide range of neuropsychiatric abnormalities. It can occur at any age but it can occur more commonly in patients who are elderly and have compromised mental status. The onset of delirium is sudden, usually within hours or a few days. The hallmark of delirium are decreased attention span and a waxing and warning state type of confusion. The symptoms include are clouding of consciousness, difficulty maintaining attention, disorientation, illusions, hallucinations, fluctuating level of consciousness, dysaphia, tremor, motor abnormalities. Delirium reflect a major change in the way the brain is working. The information processing capabilities are impaired, affects the basic function of attention, perception as well as memory and thinking. Delusion and hallucination are also some common symptoms. Symptoms also include the abnormal psychomotor activities such as wild thrashing about disturbance of the sleep cycle. There are no laboratory tests to diagnose delirium. Usually the diagnosis is, is clinical in nature. However, often this becomes difficult as the diagnosis requires detailed case history. Since delirium patients are usually confused and unable to provide accurate information Getting a detailed history from family, caregivers and nursing staff is particularly important. DSM-4TR criteria for delirium are First, disturbance of consciousness Second, a change in cognition Third, 
the disturbance develop over a short period of time and tends to fluctuate over the course of the day delirium can occur in a person of any age person with delirium is unable to carry out purposeful mental activity of any kind the inactivity of the symptoms also fluctuate over the course of 24 hours period delirium is very common in the elderly after they have had surgery patients over 80 being particularly at risk estimate of prevalence generally varies with the age of the population studied but are somewhere in the region of 5 to 40% of the hospitalized patients risk factor for delirium the development of delirium depends on the complex interaction of multiple risk factors some of them are emotional distress sustained sleep deprivation acute neurological diseases recurrent illness metabolic derangement environment sensory impairment advancing age chronological renal or hepatic disease cognitive impairment or dementia now we'll talk about treatment delirium management includes both supportive therapy and pharmacological management fluids and nutrition should be given carefully because the person may be unwilling or physically unable to maintain a balanced intake for those suspected of having alcohol toxicity or alcohol withdrawal therapy should include multivitamins especially thymine non pharmacological management includes reorientation techniques or memory cues such as calendar clocks family photos the environment needs to be kept stable quiet and well lighted one study showed a reduction of sound during the night by using earplugs in the icu setting decreased the risk of delirium by 53% and improved the self report sleep perception of the patient for 48 hours family 